Do you need some seat covers for your Chevy or GMC truck? If so, I've got two options that are really cool here. This new one I haven't tried out yet, but it actually looks really nice. So if we're getting ready to install them, we'll have to check them out. Fifteen hundred, twenty-five hundred, thirty-five hundred. They should fit them all. I'm going to show you these ones I've got in there right now, and then we've got some new ones to throw on. They at least look really cool in the picture, so let's check them out. So I've had this truck for about two years now. Right when I got it, one of the first things I did was upgrade the uh, seat covers because it's a cloth seat. Probably one of the best mods I've done of this truck, and I, I do this to all my new trucks. So these um, people get in it and they think it's got the leather interior, but it doesn't. These are just seat covers, and you know, after I point that out it's kind of obvious because you know there's like these folds and stuff under here i think the look of these is pretty slick and they've really conformed to the seat they've slid around a little bit right here you can see where i'd be sliding in and out because this is kind of a taller truck instead of this wearing out the fabric it's wearing out the seat cover i've really enjoyed these the one complaint i have after these two years is the same one i had at the beginning this part doesn't look great the way this just kind of covers the headrest and then you can see this tan behind there if that was black that'd probably be a little bit better but no complaints um if nobody ever said anything I would have just kept them like this one of the main reasons why I want to do that is for my seat of course me sliding out and being dirty but also for this seat this is where my kids car seat goes and you can see the indentations it's leaving in the seat cover there some of it transfers through the bottom but overall these seats look brand new still it's awesome this one's been held up because we usually have a refrigerator right here it takes up two-thirds of that seat you know it's kind of funny you can't predict what videos are going to do well on the channel like i'll make the most random video ever and uh, people like it and then i'll have one i'm really into i'm like this is going to be awesome and nobody is interested in it at all but one of the videos i have that's done really well over the years is this one for these seat covers and uh, because it did well i think another company saw that and they were like hey you want to try out some of ours i'm like yeah let's do it i'll try them out i really dig the all black look i like the all black interior kind of thing the the ones that are coming from this company they were all sold out of the all black ones so i got one with a like white hexagon stitching in the middle i don't know uh, the pictures they look pretty cool so we're, we're gonna install them and and hopefully they're just a little bit better quality than these that at least the the headrest part looks better yeah we'll put these to the test and who knows maybe we'll have a couple more years of these You can probably believe this just by looking at it, but I've never cleaned the inside of my truck. It's a real truck. We do truck stuff with this and it's not had an easy life. But look at these seats. They look brand new still, man. Except that, what's that? Do I wanna know? Those old seat covers protecting the seats, 10 out of 10. Seat warmers still work. You know, they, they slipped around a little bit. The install uh, is a little bit weird, like going in between these cracks and these weird plastic clips. And you know, I already snapped myself a couple times trying to get them up, but highly recommend, gotta have those. The differences I already see with the new seat covers is one, the headrest, it, it just molds over the whole thing instead of flapping around it. And then the sides on these old ones, you could see through it and it's just like some bands that went across these new ones look like they cover that whole thing so hopefully it doesn't take too long to get those ones installed All right, I can't lie, I am beat. It took me about two hours to install them, believe it or not. 
twice I had to get on YouTube and figure out something for the seats, figure out how to take the front headrest off or um, how to get the back seat down. I didn't realize that the back seat had to come down to put these on. I think that's something that comes with having a high quality seat cover is it needs to wrap all the way around and fit well. So uh, let me just show you around. We'll get a good look at how everything uh, went on there and then I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about these so far. Wow, I'm not kidding, the hand workout. Whew. All right. Look at that, pretty snazzy, right? They almost look a little bit blue. They did in the pictures and they kind of do in this camera preview, but this is white stitching. The fitment is pretty good. You can see it, it's a little bit poofy because it just needs to be worn in. Uh, my last seat covers had the same thing. So here's the back, got the uh, split bench, the two thirds split bench and uh, all new headrest cover. So let me show you what I like about these and then I'll talk about what I don't like about these seat covers so far. What do I like? This. So my last seat covers didn't have enough material tuck in around this plastic like these do. So it kind of looks like it could be factory on the seat. If you look at the back portion, this is a solid piece right here. There's no band stretching across it. All these plastic pieces had to come out and then get pressed back in there. So once again, it looks kind of factory. The headrest is pressed around here. And then you can see a little bit of cloth under there, but it isn't super obvious. Same with the back, this part tucked in pretty well. Wasn't a huge fan of this pattern um, when I got these and you know, I'm still a little bit hesitant about running them right now, but we'll see, maybe it's gonna grow on me. All right, so let me tell you what I'm not liking about these seats so far. One thing is right here. You can kind of see a little bit of white. Um, I gotta just kind of like work that piece in there. This passenger seat, I could not get it centered on the seat, so it's, it's a little bit skewed. You can kind of see this lip right here. I wasn't able to get it tucked down all the way in the crack. It's just such a tight fit. The tight fit is great because it makes it look like it's factory, like I said, but um, the bad part of that is it was extremely difficult to get your hands in here and wrench down on the seat to get it on. It is really tight, especially like right here in the lumbar supports, these headrests, you could hurt yourself trying to put these things on. It's a bad thing and it's a good thing. Looks great. Man, are my hands tired from sliding that leather over everything. All right, so one good thing about these back seats is this top part is all one piece. So my last set, there was like a piece of Velcro that went down right here. When you tried to separate it, it would drag the seat cover off, which was a bummer because like I said, we usually have a refrigerator right there. So this is pretty much always folded up and then my kid's car seat right here. Well, this one is split and they have two pieces of uh, cloth that are going right in the seam so you can raise either seat up and the other one stays put which is great um the headrests are much better back here they're all the same um one thing you'll notice is see how this is kind of poofy up here and then you can see this lip is kind of up right there this there's a little bit of wave in the bottom right here this one could be a little bit tighter for sure full disclosure you're supposed to like take this seat off and fold it forward i guess this is something that requires like a bunch of unbolting and whatnot i couldn't figure out how to get it forward maybe i just don't know but i was not willing to take this seat out or disassemble it any further further. I just tucked them in down here really good. Definitely watch a video on how to pull these out because if you do it wrong, they're going to break. That's pretty much holding the seat cover in. There's some bands on the back. I didn't even use them. And then I just tucked it in under here. I basically folded the seat up and then I kind of just went up and down with the seat while pulling down on the cover and it finally slid down in there. So they feel pretty tight. Um, the texture of these, it, it, the raised texture, it actually does feel kind of nice. So because these seat covers aren't one piece like right here, I could see stuff getting into that crack and either disappearing or getting onto the cloth. But overall, I am super satisfied with these seat covers. Thank you for sending them out to me, guys. Uh, custom interior, really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it looks growing on me. I like it. We'll see in uh, when I finally take these off, if I ever do, um, what the foam looks like on these seats, you know, because the whole point of these seat covers is to protect the stock seats for resale value or whatever later on, just to protect the truck. But I really feel like these headrests are so tight, these covers on here and this lumbar support that it might actually deform the seat right there. And maybe the cloth has like a wrinkle in it underneath. I don't know. So far, I'm impressed. Thumbs up. Check these out for yourself. They've got a bunch of different colors. Um, like I said, the all black ones, I think, are like classic super easy decision go all black for sure if you're uh, looking to, for a little bit of accent too much black in your truck already like mine get these hexagons so the seat covers are from custom interiors that's a uh, custom with a k these guys got a hold of me and said hey would you like to try some of our seat covers out and i was like yeah sure uh, my last video did so well i think that 
other companies are like, whoa, we're getting some traction on this. Uh, maybe we could use that as a marketing tool of our own. So I'm like, yeah, I'm happy to try them out and test them out, even though my other ones were doing great. These ones look even better. Yeah, I'm stoked to have a, a new clean seat cover. I guess I don't have to clean my truck again. I'll have a link down in the description to this set and maybe another set. So go check that out. Um, if you need any help installing it, definitely, definitely YouTube it. Uh, I don't want you breaking any of these plastic parts. Uh, taking the headrests out on both the front and the back. They're just, um, it's not like previous vehicles I've had. It's a little bit more complicated. So don't break your plastic pieces. Don't break your metal pieces. And uh, you know, go slow with the install. Do it right. Don't get your hand all hurt. I don't take breaks. Yeah, if you have any questions that you think I can answer about it, put them down in the comments and let me know. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. See you in the next one.